What is going on everybody? Here's how I work. I generally try to keep on top of the points in Miles news. If there's anything breaking, like a big credit card launch or a revamp, I'll jump on that. Other times, like what spawned today's video, I just kind of jot ideas down and then I get to them. I keep this list and on it I wrote best credit card for Christmas shopping. Sounds simple enough a topic to do a video on, right? But it isn't. After I started thinking about the options, one thing became really obvious. There's not exactly a Christmas store. There's not one place everyone is going to do their holiday shopping. This video is not going to be as easy uh, as I thought. But hey, you know what, let's give it a try anyway. For those that don't know me, my name is Aaron, and as always, if I can make sense of the points in Miles game, you can make sense of the points in Miles game. To kick this off, I think we need to segment our market a little bit. On the most macro level, we've got our traditional retail shoppers who deserve a medal for bravery, and we've got our practical onlineists. Let's start with that first group, the traditional retail shoppers. First off, what are you guys even doing? Even if you really enjoy the tactile sensation of going to a physical store and picking something up, you're likely missing out on points. I'm talking about shopping portals. Uh, the one I'm most familiar with is Chase's. For anyone unfamiliar with the concept or who thinks it sounds a little bit scammy, let me explain how it works. When I click through to say Home Depot from Chase's site, a little cookie keeps track of this. When I subsequently make a purchase from Home Depot, Chase gets a little advertising fee for the referral. In turn, they pass a piece of that back to me. It's a win-win. Technically, you are supposed to use the card associated with the account you're logged into. But I found that, in practice, it works no matter how you pay. Your mileage may vary, but that's the way it should be. In the example just used, Chase gets a commission regardless of how I pay, so why should it matter what card is used? So right away, we see the opportunity to double dip. That is, the chance to earn points from multiple sources on the same transaction. A quick little way to turbocharge your Christmas shopping earnings. Let's talk about the retail establishment I love to hate, Best Buy. Chase will provide an additional point per dollar, worth 2.19 cents, if the purchase is made when referred by the card issuer. It's also worth pointing out that there are a lot of vendors in Chase's portal, not just traditional retail ones with e-commerce sites. Here's another way to look at it, but sorted by earn rate. We've got a bunch of garbage ones, really just places you vastly overpay for things, so they've got the margins to dish out that fat rebate. The only thing worthwhile I see here is e-bags. Uh, I've had good luck with them before. Getting back to the beast buy, and we start with a dishonorable mention for those who have a weird affinity for the retailer. They're co-branded Visa from City. It earns 5% back on purchases made at their stores. I use 5% very loosely, as points earned can only result in best buy vouchers. Every 250 points gets one five best buy dollars. I personally hate an award currency that is tied to a certain vendor, unless that vendor is Amazon. For that reason alone, I'd avoid this card. That and because I'd sooner take life advice from Charles Manson than enter that godforsaken blue and yellow hellhole. Our number 4 option for Christmas shopping at Best Buy is the City Double Cash card, offering a simple 2% cash back, one when you buy and one when you pay. Moving up, we've got number three, the American Express Everyday Preferred Card. I value membership rewards at 2.26 cents a piece, and you earn one of them per dollar, plus a 50% bonus if the card is used 30 times or more during a billing cycle. Number two is the Chase Freedom Unlimited if paired with an Ultimate Rewards Earning Card, 3.285%. 
That's calculated by taking 1.5 ultimate rewards per dollar and multiplying by the points reckoning value of 2.19 cents a piece. Finally, our best option for purchases at Best Buy is the Capital One Venture Rewards Visa, 3.46%. That's going to be two venture reward points per dollar at 1.73 cents per point. Sticking with our traditional retail theme, let's talk Costco. Pretty much the only place besides Amazon I buy anything not edible. We've got some great options here, not the least of which is Costco's outstanding return policy, which means any unwanted Christmas gifts can easily be swapped out. On the negative side, we're a little limited as Costco only accepts visas. Amex, MasterCard, and Discover are out. On the bottom, we've got number four, the Costco Anywhere Visa. A simple 2% cash back on all Costco purchases. Number three, the Chase Freedom Unlimited if paired with an Ultimate Rewards Earning Card. Again, 3.285%. Number two, the Capital One Venture Rewards Visa, 3.46%. And finally, we've got something real girthy at number one. The standard Chase Freedom if paired with an Ultimate Rewards Earning Card, 10.95%. That's crazy. It just so happens that this quarter's bonus category on that card is warehouse clubs. So Costco shoppers are really in for it. 2.19 cents per point times five gets us to that earn rate. Rounding out our traditional retail shopping experience and we've got Walmart. The number four position is the American Express Everyday Preferred Card, 2.26 to 3.39%. Uh, again, one membership reward per dollar spent plus a 50% bonus if the card is used 30 or more times in a billing period. The number three spot is Walmart's own in-house credit card. It provides a straightforward 3% cash back on all purchases made at the retailer. Our number one and two options are the ones that just keep popping up. The Chase Freedom Unlimited and the Capital One Venture Rewards Visa. I've saved what is likely everyone's most important holiday nexus for last, Amazon. It's actually gotten kind of ridiculous what percentage of my Christmas shopping is done here. Starting us off at the number 5 spot is the American Express Everyday Preferred Card. Again, 2.26 to 3.39%. The 4 spot belongs to Amazon's own co-branded Chase Visa. It will provide shoppers 3% cash back to be used at Amazon. And worth noting is that this bonus earn is good at purchases made uh, at Mr. Bezos' store as well as Whole Foods. Spots two and three uh, belong to the duo that just keeps popping up, the Chase Freedom Unlimited and the Capital One Venture Reward Visa. My number one pick for purchases made at Amazon this Christmas season goes to a card issuer that just doesn't get much attention in the points and miles world. I'm talking about Discover and their IT cashback card. Uh, much like the standard Freedom, the Discover IT uses a quarterly calendar to switch up their bonus categories. It just so happens this quarter that bonuses go to Amazon, 5% to be exact. So that's what I've got for now. There are a lot of retailers, both online and off, that I could have covered, but I didn't because of a lack of familiarity or time constraints. Depending on how this video goes, I might do a follow-up. I'm thinking eBay, Home Depot, Lowe's, Etsy, or something else entirely. I don't know, but I'd like to get some input. If anyone has a suggestion, go ahead and drop, uh, drop that in the comments down below. And with that, I'll wrap up uh, Christmas shopping for the night. If you found any of this useful, a like, share, or sub is appreciated. If not, hit that thumbs down button. Alright, and uh, we'll see you later.